Welcome everyone, this is Commissar Rykor here, and I really hate voiceovers, but let's just get this done with. This is a desktop that I built for a friend of mine. They basically had a computer that wasn't working. Uh, I troubleshot it and came back and I was like, hey, I can. this computer just needs a new power supply. We can put a new power supply in here and you'll be, you'll be off to go. Or, But your computer is a little old and kind of slow, so if you want, I could build you a new computer. And they basically were like, yeah, sure. We went over the pricing options and salvaging some parts from their old PC, like the little wireless card that I don't know if they're going to use or not, that hard drive and that optical drive, we were able to come out with a final price of $680. Now, you could probably find some of these components for a little bit cheaper, and you could probably pick a little bit better components. It just really depends on the sales of the time. I went with a slightly more high-performance desktop APU uh, design than just a standard productivity design. I don't predict them using anything, uh, using this for gaming, but they could if they wanted to, and I wanted to give them the extra headroom. Now, the real thing was, is I went with an SSD, um, mostly just because they hadn't had an SSD before, and I wanted them to experience the speed of an SSD. Excuse me. I did go with 256 gig Mushkin drive. It was on sale for about $80 at the time. I'm not sure if they're still on sale, but if you can probably find them on Newegg. The cable management in the Fractal Design Core 1500 case is nothing uh, to you know, write home about. It's not that bad. It's not amazing either. There is plenty of cable ties down, but I wish there was a little bit room, a little bit more room behind the motherboard tray. But if you use a flat cabled power supply like one from Corsair, you should be fine. This one from Seasonic, 450 watts, was mostly flat. The 24 pin could have been desired if it was better flat, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, I didn't add any extra fans. The two fans that came with the case. Uh, are in this video they are one's intake one's exhaust but I did end up flipping that rear fan over to an intake so that basically allows the all that top ventilation to pretty much just be heat exhaust so the front and the rear intake will blow on that be quiet CPU cooler and blow up now I could have went with the stock AMD cooler but might as well go with a little bit of aftermarket one this be quiet pro rock I think it's pro rock um, not only does it look amazing uh, minus the little finger fridge smudge there uh, it's really cool and it's gonna last them a long time. Installation was a breeze. I went with 16 gigs of DDR3 memory, 2133, mostly just because you need some high speed memory to help out that APU in there, that 7870 God very refresh of the Kaveri refresh. Um, you need some high speed memory, and I decided to go with 16 gigs because uh, they had 6 gigs before, it wasn't that fast. I thought 8 gigs, but the price between 8 gigs and 16 gigs at the time on the holiday sale was like $20. Maybe $23, and I decided, bam, go with it, just get 16 gigs out of the bat. They'll probably never upgrade to 32 gigs, but hell, might as well give them 16 gigs. They'll be flashy fine. This computer boots in a dream, super fast, never had any issues. The only time it's ever slow is when Windows is trying to update, but that's Windows 10 for you, especially in the beginning. Um, yeah, I believe that this computer is going to last them pretty much the entire lifespan of four to five years before they'll ever need to upgrade or anything i think if all they're going to use it for is general productivity office work they'll be fine for a long time anyways this has been commissar rycor i hate voiceovers thank you for listening and you'd be surprised this is taking me for fucking ever this is taking me all day to record this but thank you for watching